problems.
officially docked in Hamburg. We just go over here and see if we can see them tying us up. I don't know if we can or not. Uh, oh, it gives me vertigo. So the rope's been uh, thrown out to those guys that we saw a minute ago. He's just tying us up there. We're still actually moving at uh, fair speed. Um, I don't know what they're doing. as well as turning round, we're gradually going backwards. So it looks like we're docking somewhere over there. Pretty cool, eh, Lauren? <laughs> She's getting a bit sick of me going, hey, isn't it cool? But it is cool, isn't it? <laughs> so now having come all the way through central Hamburg, this little tug down there is pulling us pulling the back end round basically um, with very little room to spare it's absolutely incredible these um, maneuvers that these enormous ships do are really quite phenomenal and up the other end at the front of the ship we've got the pilot there um, and I actually don't think the captain's there at the moment the pilot's there and he's got a kind of extra extra wheel I don't know, extra controls actually out on the deck. We're not allowed to go too far up there because obviously they're busy. Um, and he's communicating with the tug down there and moving the controls. Um, he's got kind of a actual steering wheel type thing. Um, and we're actually spinning round through the river. Um, I don't quite know where we're gonna end up. It's all happening very slowly, very methodically but seemingly very efficiently. I mean, I, these guys do this every three or four weeks, so I guess it's not that exciting for them. There's a tug down there, um, and there's one on the other side as well. There's Lauren over there nattering to the Germans.
So here we are, finally, arriving in Hamburg, in a very, very foggy Hamburg. We've had a trip <laughs> up the river, Elbe. Not that we'd have known it, because visibility was so poor we could have been way out at sea. Um, and we're cruising up the river now in the center of Hamburg. Um, and we've been told that tomorrow we'll be able to disembark uh, for a few hours in the morning um, whilst they load up. Uh, we don't know any details yet, but hopefully, hoping we can uh, get off and stretch our legs a little bit. Uh, it's been an interesting day. We did schooling most of the morning. Lauren did very well, as usual. French poetry and maths. And then, oh, look at that little Christmas tree down on the dock all on its own. Um, and then this afternoon, I've been doing some things that required internet because we had fairly good mobile signal. And I don't know what Lauren's been up to. She's been doing secret things in her room, in our room. <laughs> She says all will be revealed. It's for Christmas. Okay, she says all will be revealed for Christmas. And uh, and now we're in the middle of a game of Monopoly. It's possibly the only circumstances on earth where it makes sense to play Monopoly because it takes forever and we've got nothing better to do. <laughs> um, we love it. Yeah. I love it. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna take you over to see the other side now, um, which is really the docks, and they really are right in the center of Hamburg. Yeah. Um, as you can see as we walk past the funnel uh, there are other ships already moored up on this side I presume we've been allocated a berth somewhere um, so yeah there's some ships that are almost as big as us like that one there you think that's bigger than us? no we're higher though if you look at it, we're longer as well. Because that bit there is the dark wall. There's the Philadelphia Express over there. 